forgot to mention, the official name for these fire bars are Guru Guru Bars. I uh, mentioned the name in my Link to the Past walkthrough, but I forgot to mention it here, so yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go sail back. <laughs> What's taking so long? I was about to leave you. I forgot to say the name of the bar and forget it. Forget it. <laughs> what? Lineback, what are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding is really a shiny treasure? No, I really don't think so. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to Mercury Island. Okay. Hmm. I've gotten anything happy. Okay, let's be off. No, I can't really do anything over here at the moment, so we're off. <laughs> Alright, let's doodle our path straight up. And along the way, we're going to come across something that you're going to want to mark on the map. So I'm actually going to show you this. <laughs> like, I'm not going to cut forward to next location because there's actually something coming along this route here. Uh, so, yep, let's just enjoy the ride, L look around, full 360 if you'd like to, oh yeah, and it's coming, it's coming very soon, not, not beetle ship there, there's, there's something around in the water, uh, maybe it's not exactly where, oh, there it is, it is exactly where I drew the line, <laughs> no, I, I want to see charts, and mark that there is a frog right here. Why? Well, you'll see for the future. <laughs> so yeah, there's that golden frog just flopping around there, having a good old time, and yeah, we can't really do anything about the frog, but we can mark it on the map for the future. <laughs> and of course, I would ha to run into Beetle ship perfectly at the route that I chose. It's just my luck when I start the recorder. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. A shipyard is open. If you have ship parts, take them in there. Uh, yeah, sure, what the heck. You know that you grip an equip item by tapping the item icon? You know, I already showed that. Oh, so it is both L and R. I'm just used to pressing L. Yeah, so I, I mapped the blow button to the... Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go in here and see what this place is all about. I'm gonna raid your house if you don't mind. Oh, I got the shell like a ship boat! Woo! It's randomized! <laughs> Come on in, you found yourself in the shipyard. Um, yeah, sure, why not, why not? So yeah, you can customize the ship, and customizing said ship will increase said ship's hearts. So, uh, yeah, and if you get multiple of the same parts... Well, I should say same parts of a set for the ship, you'll actually be able to increase the ship's hearts even more. But for now, I've only got one, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna do that, and leave it at that. Alrighty, oh and yeah, you can also view your ship in a full 360 type thing by clicking view ship. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Uh, any, any other dialogue to be found around these parts before I go back to the Temple of the Ocean King? Probably not. Uh, oh, really, is it? You're a friend to that ancient fell off shoes, am I right? And you're searching for a ghost ship to find your kidnapped friend. Let me shake the sand from my ears. Are you, you speak of the ghost ship? Listen up, young man. Listen good. Boy, that ship and you'll turn to stone. Your soul, gone. Your body, made monster. Your very life, accursed. I know you'd like to save your friend. When it comes to that ghost ship, I'd be more concerned with saving my own bacon if I were you. <laughs> okay. Well, the game will still push you in the direction of said ghost ship, so, well, we're gonna have to face the ghost ship eventually. <laughs> so yeah, Astrid is sort of like the place to go to if you don't know where to go. Somehow, some way. yes I did. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, we, we kind of already heard that before, so I guess we ran out of dialogue. <laughs> it's the treasure place open, I don't think it is yet. Uh, no, it is not. Okay. So, back to the Temple of the Ocean King. And thus, another trip to this place has started. Through the lands, past the crows of doom. And we're here. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh, wait, there's actually a little more path here. It doesn't take that long to get back out, and I'm just kind of messing around here. And uh, the skeletons here at the entrance will basically say the same old thing, but uh, there's something that's going on here. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Good. If you push yourself that hard in the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know you have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you say you want to go alone, who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to put all the work on Link again? If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid, the temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for uh, uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? It's our shoes! Grandma! Yeah! I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power! You are strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you'll be fine. Ink! Get up on that altar! Well, okay, I guess. What else do you guys have to say around here? Er, how's that old man? I'm just up here out of nowhere like that. He's a ninja. <laughs> Hurry, Link, to the altar! Okay, I don't know what, what's the hurry about, but okay, let's just go over to said altar and just flop around here and see what this is all about. Oh, 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 shiny? Sparkly? Was this an important item all along? How could I have overlooked this earlier? Well, because I couldn't pick it up earlier. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, what is the sand? Woo! Now, Link, take the hourglass! Touch, 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 touch! Harry Link, touch! Use your stylus! Well, it's your arm, but still, it kind of functions as a stylus. Whoa! Woo! I got the games main out of the Phantom Hourglass! Yeah! It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. So what, what can this thing do? Well, you'll see. What? Audio glitch. <laughs> you now hold the legendary Phantom Hourglass Link. As long as you carry it, the temple cannot drain the life from you. Woo! As long as I have this, we can search for clues with spirits! Yeah, baby. <clears throat> However. Uh, why'd you do that? You're only safe as long as the sand remains in the top of the Phantom Hourglass. When all the sand is drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass. Can't you just flip it over again? No, once the sand of hourglass is drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Ah, I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of hours. The beast you defeated in the temple of fire held some grains in it. It's said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect the sand of hours. But the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in the temple showed us where to find the captured spirits. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits... Hmm... Hmm... Alright, that's another clue hidden in the temple somewhere. Hidden in this temple. I just know it! I won't stop you, Link. Dive deeper into this mystery, but keep the phantom hourglass in hand. Remember how Astro was saying that the sacred light was fading? We've got to hurry, Link! So, how do you know so much, old man? Hmm... That long story is not yet ready to surface, but all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right, a mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, Link. Put some steam in your engines and get it exploring this temple, kid. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's just see what else... Uh... Yeah, we kind of already went over that before, just seeing the dialogue and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. So let's delve right in, I guess. So, this time into it, we're going to see a little cutscene happen right at the beginning. Oh, ten minutes of the Phantom Hourglass. It'll only drain when we're outside of the safe zones, though. Link, look at the upper left corner of the top screen! This is how long the Phantom Hour goes up protecting from the curse! Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out and escape! That's it. Without the sand, it'll suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time you've got left. Ten minutes is really plenty. 
<laughs> this is the door of power. Use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper into the temple. All right. You also notice that you don't hear the the bitter when you leave the safe zones anymore. Yeah, that's because the sand of power is now protecting you. Yes. All right. We're in even deeper to the temple of the Ocean King. All right, and let's see what's uh oh. I don't like the sound of this! What the heck are these things? That they, they just pop out of nowhere and... Hey, it's an enemy. You know what to do. Ah, uh, oh, uh, wait, like these evil lickers just double made these monsters. Phantom was a very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, all you can do is sneak by the phantom so they don't see you. Stealth mission! You can watch your movements on your map. This is where the phantoms are. The cone... <clears throat> the cone shows where they are looking. So you have to sneak around like thieves, eh? What if we're seen? Mm, if they see you, run straight for a safe zone. The safe zone? You mean those purple spaces on the ground? Oh yeah, the sand stopped moving in the hourglass when we were in one. That's right, those purple tiles on the floor are safe zones! The temple curse makes it a dangerous place, but it's not all bad. Those safe zones are made, remain as places that evil can't get to. Awesome. So a phantom spots you, just run to a safe zone. That's easy. Uh, no, that's difficult. You have the power to free me from the Temple of Fire! There are several safe zones, so even if you're running, if you're though, even if you're spotted, just run into those. Uh... Okay, so <laughs> you're not even gonna let me choose yes this time. Oh jeez. Lightning and torches to open the way. Hmm. How am I supposed to light two of them? So uh um the temp I mean the phantom at the bottom right likes to go around that square over there. Um, you know, on the map there, and the one at the left side likes to go around just like back and forth in a straight line along that left hallway. So I can safely go thus here and right over there, and just we just go do something like that, and those flames open thusly. And I'm gonna hide in here <laughs> because the phantom is facing that way, and yeah, it's gonna be deadly in my way. By the way, if you get hit by one, I believe it takes one heart away from your health, if I recall correctly, and 30 seconds off your phantom hourglass. So yeah, these are uh, enemies not to be trifled with, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, they will actually hear you if you tap something with your sword or throw a pot or something around like that. Here, I'll show you. Watch the top screen here. I'm gonna tap. He's like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hmm, nothing there. That's weird. <laughs> and he's just gonna keep going on the direction that he was. And I'm just gonna sneak on by here, nice and quiet like, and go through here. So we got this dude here. Break a red pot to spill its magical contents on the floor. Stand in the puddle to conceal yourself. So these are like portable magic containers of sorts. And uh, by the way, you might want to mark on your map. Uh, stuff as you go. Uh, this is something for the future, like say that switch, turn on this torch, this torch I could use to light with said boomerang, and then there's a switch over here for this door over there. Let's. I just know that ahead of time, let's just put it that way. So yeah, I'm just doing these marks for the future here, because, well, you'll see. <laughs> Just mark it down and you will be very pleased. Woo! I got a small key! Yahoo! You know what? Maybe I'll get hit by a phantom once just to see for sure. I'll get you! You were fire into a safe zone! Uh, but yeah, so actually I'll try. Can I sneak by? No, I can't. <laughs> so yeah, it'll cut off 30 seconds off the hourglass and it'll also poop you back over here, which is actually more convenient than anything, which is why I wanted to get hit at that point, just because it'll speed things along a little bit here. As I said, 10 minutes is plenty of time, so yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about your phantom hourglass too much here. Not really that big of a deal. Okay, floor two. Now watch, watch this one on the top screen. It doesn't move, but it changes up. Thank you. So there's a switch behind him, but I got a plan to get this here. Watch this. I'm going to tap this, and he's going to go down straight that way. Now, I'm going to go up to here, I'm going to grab this switch, and it'll open that fire. 
Now, while that's deep beep beeping, I'm gonna hit this one, and that'll drop a key. Because that- because those two crystal switches were a part of the timing to- timing thing to open or stay to grab that key, so... Yeah! <laughs> so I'm gonna hide over here, and uh, actually maybe I should- I was gonna make a mark on my map there when I was, uh, in a- Not in a safe zone, which is a bad idea. <laughs> So, okay, we have this switch that I gotta pull to open this fire here. We've got this and this, which are both linked to this key. Alright, and I guess I'll write that a key drops here with a little symbol there. Got it? Good, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna use this to hit that. And this opens! Yeah! Alright. Now, um... Over here, we're gonna try and follow that phantom close, but not too close. We're gonna try and like hide in here and uh, talk to the skeleton while we're waiting. <laughs> I should have watched the phantoms, the paths of the phantoms walk more carefully. They're patrolling the same areas again and again. So he's gonna turn the corner. And what we're gonna do here is, is there's a red pot here. And I'm gonna smash that. He's gonna turn around because he's still close enough to here. And then he should go on the other path. Hopefully he's not gonna go back up this path because he goes in a L shape. Ah, oh, he's going back out that path. But yeah, this phantom likes to go in an L shaped path here. Uh, you might also want to mark down the paths that the phantoms go if you would like to, but I've got them pretty much all memorized since I played through this game a bunch of times. Uh, so I'm more concerned about the stuff that I am doodling on the map in, in terms of like the the switches that activate stuff and stuff and stuff, and yeah. Now, once he gets far enough away, I'm just gonna sneak out of this safe zone that I created, and hop on through here. Notice there's a cracked wall here, well that's something we can't really do. And uh, getting off the switch- OH NO! Oh no, that's- that's unfortunate. Well, there is something that we can do about this. Yeah! <laughs> I got the small key, yeah, and I'm gonna run back through here, because this these switch blocks here are more like a safety switch thing, of, so that you can go back rather easily without having issues with the phantoms. And there we go, floor number two is done! Woohoo! And also, as a side note, you might want to mark on your map also where any safe zones are with like an S or something like that, you know, where this, the red pots are. So that you know an extra spot where there is a safe zone. In fact, I should probably um, uh, go back to the first floor and uh, mark... Whoa, 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 that's wrong. It's basement one floor, because there's a, a safe a safe thing there and a safe thing there. Uh, those red pots, I believe. No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it was actually both on the other side of that bombable thing, wasn't it? So that means this S is a goner, and there's another S there. Okay, <laughs> just to say there's two safe pots there. Now, I know those are poorly drawn S's, but sue me here. <laughs> Alright, for this one, the ghost ship rests on this- I mean, the clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor, just a little farther. Alright, for this one, I'm gonna loop around this way, because I know where I need to go, and I just wanna chat with this guy too. Who knew that the contents of the yellow pots restore time in the hourglass? If only I had the hourglass, maybe things would have been different. So, gold pots, 30 seconds. Some of them contain 15 seconds. I'm gonna mark on the map. Plus 30, right there, I guess, for, yeah, that, that sort of area. It's kind of hard to write small enough of the area. Alright, whoa, a force jump! Look at that, the things that the phantom hourglass of sand is made from. You got a triangle! <laughs> I wonder what you're supposed to do with it. That's a force gem, stolen by the ocean king by the hands of evil. You need the power of force gems to open a door and delve deeper. So what are you supposed to do with the force gem? So you put them in this Triforce pedestal. You can see it over there. There are pedestals where the force gems go. Place all force gems here and the door will open. So all you have to do is take the force gems there. Be careful, you'll move a lot slower when you're carrying a big force gem. It's like those giant keys, you know, the boss keys. If a fan sees you, don't, don't, and don't, you don't think you can get away, don't be a hero. Drop the force gem and run to a safe zone. Simple, right, Link? The call for the phantoms and lug those force gems around. Um, so, okay, we're gonna mark on the map. Triangle for the force gem. <laughs> it also may be a Dorito, but no, it is a force gem, I assure you. 
Okay, I'm gonna wait for them to turn. Turn, turn, there we go. Because if they see you, uh, what'll actually happen is a fire gate will appear above, yeah, in front of the spots where I need to go to, and that's, that's bad news, because I won't be able to drop the Force Gem in there while they're chasing after me. Woo! Oh yeah! And now over here, there's another one of these, but I can't really get that right now. But over here is actually something a little bit better. If you hit that switch, it'll turn off those spikes around there, which will make navigating this place a little bit easier. Um, you'll also notice that this phantom is carrying a key. Well, if you hit that phantom with a boomerang, it'll actually drop that key. And you'll be able to get that, but there's another way of actually getting that key. Uh, there's another force gem here. So I might as well map that over there. And I'm going to show you the other way of getting that key uh, soon enough. But first I'm going to wait for the phantoms to do their thing there. When, can I pick up the key while I'm holding a force gem? Yes, I can! <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> but okay, oh, oh, I dropped the force gem though. He, there's some sacrifice there. I had to give up both hands to be able to grab the key. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Don't alert the phantom. Go, 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 go. And plop it over there. Okay, that's number two. And I also got the key from that phantom. You'll, you don't have to mark that on your map. You know where the key is just by looking on the map. Uh, we got this duder here. Phantoms sometimes carry keys, but what could I have done to take one? Well, I, I'm going to use that key in the door soon enough, but first, I'm going to show you how to get the key a different way. You see, you open that, and then you run around here. See, I, as I said, you got plenty of time on the Phantom Hourglass to mess around here, so don't worry about it. Just uh, have some fun here, and we are going to go up here. Now, watch this, watch this. You can actually drop a Phantom outside... Those, yeah, trap doors, and they'll actually drop whatever they're holding, if you should drop one into a hole like that. That'll also get rid of them as well. And you can also, yeah, there's a safe zone pot there. So I'm going to write S here, circle this here for that fire there, and I know there's another... Uh, force gem in there, so I'm just gonna do the lad on my map ahead of time because I'm gonna be right over here soon enough to get another force gem. <laughs> yeah, I got place pretty well memorized. I got a force gem. By the way, those uh, plus thirty second pots always are worth kidding. I've noticed because it never takes more time to get one of those pots than to actually get. Uh, than it does to actually get one of the prizes inside. So definitely go after those pots if you can to increase the time of your hourglass. Oh yeah! Victory is mine! And this was the last floor that we could really explore here. And for good measure here, I'm gonna ma mark uh, plus 30 here too for the pot that's over here. Got it? Good. All right. I didn't read this, did I? Offer up the Force Gems on the Sacred Pedestals, but, uh, well, kinda, kinda already did that. <laughs> I was more concerned about just flopping through here. So, notice that you can't mark on this map, and there's none of that fog. This door just won't open for us. The design is different from the last door. Maybe we need another spirit's help? So, it appears that there's more of the Temple of the Ocean King. Oh, wait, there's no fog this year? Look! The Hourglass... Oh, I've clicked too fast, I'm sorry. <laughs> this place isn't cursed yet. I think we can finally act. So yeah, it's not sapping any of the time because it's not cursed. It's all safe and ready to go. And never forget about this pot. Since I can't mark on the map because of that symbol, I, I'm going to have to just remember to get this every time. And uh, going through here... Uh, yeah, it'll take you back up here. That's what that that's what that door leads to there. It's not that important really It's just like a shortcut back, but you're not gonna need to go back All right, let's grab this. It's a Northwestern sea chart. Heck yeah Woo Oh Baby, oh that doesn't look too pretty. It's a little bit decayed Got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe we can now explore our new region of the sea. Let's show line back. And one of these blue portal shiny things appears. And we are out. Yep, you know that dialogue. <laughs> so that's basically all we can do here at the old Temple of the Ocean King. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm just kind of... 
being random. Anyway, let's flop back over here and uh, still can't do anything about that cracked wall, these blocks here, but that is all right. We're just going to have a grandiose time going back over the line back and seeing what is up with this weird looking map. Let's see here. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, what, 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 what? what do you want? Does that ship of yours have a cannon? Well, no. It makes sea life easier, or at least louder. Hmm, that's about all I know. Oh, you can get them from a guy named Edo on the Isle to the South. Really? Hmm, really? Is that... Is, am I able to get a cannon now? Yes, I got the sea charts. Lineback, you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found the new sea chart. Hey, let me see that. Mm-hmm. Hmm, it's a trip need to sail to see that's up north. We still know location of ship. Well, blow me down to the ground. The chart's so dusty that I can't read it. Make yourself useful and clean it up, will you, Link? So just blow into the microphone as yeah, hard as you can. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's my shoulder button, but whatever. Oh, hey, another crest has appeared. Yay! Uh, I, I, look, I mean, I, I knew it all along. I, I knew it was hidden there. I've always had a sixth sense for such things. Stop that! Stop long. I'm falling for a line back. You didn't know that was there. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. <laughs> anyway, be spirits. That is spirits right there. So let's go to that island. And we sh most certainly shall go to the island. Maybe. <laughs> In the next part. So I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you then.